what makes the action arm special? What makes it different than all the other arms out there? The first point is portability. It's actually not that big. This looks big, but the arm itself, as you saw when we opened the case, it's just this frame, the shock, and the offset plate. You can, if you wanted to, leave the case at home, <laughs> take these pieces apart, and you wrap them in a t-shirt and put them in a backpack, and you can carry them on and fly them anywhere in the world. Number two is the shock. This, you know, as we talked about, it's a super high-end uh, mountain bike racing shock. You know, it's four-way adjustable, so high and low speed, compression and rebound dampening, plus the air spring. So a lot of adjustability in the, in the, in the shock is that essentially because it's an air spring, you have a infinitely adjustable variable spring rate. So that means that unlike other uh, suspension arms, you can tune your spring rate within seconds by using the hand pump. Third point that differentiates it from a lot of suspension arms in the market, and this is something I don't usually talk about, is price. This is something that was one of the, the, one of the design criteria when we were thinking about what we were gonna offer to the market. I wanted to, co to come up with and release, design an arm that was simple, effective enough to deliver good results if it's inexpensive enough that you can easily without breaking the bank add it to sort of the tool set that you have on your camera truck on your grip truck for the price of one of these other arms out there you can buy two or even three of the cinemilled action arm and why is that important so i had a shoot with uh travis pastrana we had to shut down las vegas boulevard but we only had one shot at it so being able to afford two of these you could put one in the front one in the back and with one go you can get footage from the back of the rider overtake him get footage from the front of the rider you can put two on the back and have one with a long lens and one with a wide lens but most importantly it's also something that's extremely flexible, right? In the sense of you can use a Ronin 2 one day and then the next day you're doing a commercial, you're shooting on film, you're using a large cinema head, boom, this is ready to handle 100 plus pounds of weight. This is kind of, I guess, the fourth point. The more weight you put on the cinema action arm, the better it's gonna work. First of all, it's overbuilt everywhere. It's built to handle the weight of a bigger system. And the way this shock works and activates once it starts moving, the more weight you put on here, I found the better results it even produces. So it's kind of the opposite of other arm systems where as you start building it out and you put in Movi XL and you put a 12 to one lens and all that stuff, it starts to just slam the, the, the end stops and it just, you know, maybe even break the arm. Uh, which I've seen, and so this can handle the heavier weights. It has that flexibility.